The topic of this video is reducing a rational expression to lowest terms. Let's look at a problem. Simplify the rational expression. All right, our numerator is y squared minus 49, and our denominator is 4y squared minus 16y minus 84. Okay, so the first thing we want to acknowledge is that uh, a problem like this is solved using a two-step process. Uh, the first step is to factor all of the numerators and the denominators, and then the second step is to look for factors that match top and bottom so that we can cancel those to the number one. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Let's start with the factoring part of this problem. We're going to use our side workspace, SW for side work, and we're going to start with our numerator polynomial, y squared minus 49. Okay, so let's just briefly review the three steps of factoring. The three steps of factoring are put your terms in descending order, Identify and factor out the greatest common factor, also known as the GCF, and then count your terms and use an appropriate method based on the number of terms. Okay, so first, descending order. Well, this is already in descending order. We look at the exponent on the variable, so we've got a 2, and then since there's no y here, that's a 0. 2, 0 is descending, so we're in descending order. Next is the greatest common factor. There is no greatest common factor here y squared is a y times y, 49 is a 7 times 7, they have nothing in common. And then the, finally, the third step is to uh, count our terms. So we find that we have two terms here, which means there are three possible factoring methods that we could use. It could be a difference of squares, it could be a difference of cubes, or it could be a sum of cubes, or possibly none of those. Well, in this particular instance, we're dealing with the difference of squares. I know it's a difference because it says subtraction, and my, my clue that this is squares is my first term here. Uh, this little exponent of 2 is telling me that. In fact, if I pronounced this out loud, I would get y squared. It happens that 49 is also a perfect square. 49 is the result of squaring 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So you could think of this as y squared minus 7 squared, and that's why it's a difference of squares. All right, now we're ready to factor. To factor a difference of squares, you take the square root of both of these things, and you write them side by side. So the square root of y squared is y, the square root of 49 is 7, and we're actually going to write that twice, and with one of them we're going to put a plus in the middle, and the other we're going to put a minus in the middle, and this is how we factor a difference of squares. Okay, great, so now we've done our numerator, we're going to move on to our denominator now. Okay, denominator, 4y squared minus 16y minus... 84. Okay, so now let's go through the, th the three steps of factoring one more time. First step is descending order. So we've got y to the 2, y to the 1, and no y. Perfect, already in descending order. Next step is GCF. Well, the GCF here is 4. All three of these numbers are divisible by 4. So let's divide and take out the 4. So 4y squared divided by 4 is just y squared. Negative 16y divided by 4 makes negative 4y, and negative 84 divided by 4 makes negative 21. If we want to know whether we've factored correctly, we can check it with FOIL or with the distributive property. In this case, it's the distributive property. So 4 times y squared makes 4y squared. 4 times negative 4y makes negative 16y. 4 times negative 21 makes negative 84. These are equal to each other. Okay, step 3 of factoring. Count your terms. Well, I see three terms, which makes this a trinomial. And there are a variety of methods that you can use for trinomials. So you can use the educated guess and check method. You can use the AC method. You can use happy face, X factor, necklace. You, there are so many methods. I, I'm assuming that you've heard of at least one of those. All right, so this happens to be a simple trinomial. And the reason why I say it's simple is because the variable squared term has a coefficient of one. And when that's the case, factoring is actually pretty easy. You just have to come up with two numbers that multiply to make the end, negative 21, but add to make the middle number, negative 4. Well, those numbers would be negative 7 and positive 3. And factoring that trinomial is actually pretty easy. You just have to put a y in front of both of those things, and you'll have your factors. Don't forget to bring down your GCF. Your 4 has to come alongside your final answer. Okay, great. So now that we've done both of these factoring steps, we're ready to come back to where we were. And we're going to now replace each numerator and denominator 
with the factored versions that we found. So for example, up top, we're going to write y plus seven, y minus seven. Down below, we're gonna write the four times the y minus seven times the y plus three. Okay, so now we're ready to do step two. Step two is to look for factors that match top and bottom and cancel those factors. Well, I see a y plus seven up top and a y minus seven down below. So I just have to verify that they're factors and if they are, I can cancel them. Factors are things that are being multiplied, not added or subtracted. Well, this y minus seven is multiplying by the y plus seven. So this is a factor. This y minus seven is multiplying by both the four and the y plus three. So this is a factor. And because they match, we cancel them to the number one. And now we can go ahead and write our simplified final answer. Anything times one is itself. So the top will be y plus seven, and the bottom will be four times the sum y plus three. Notice that the denominator has parentheses here where the numerator does not. Why? Well, because the denominator factor has a multiplying neighbor, this four, whereas the numerator factor does not. Now, the most common mistake that students make with a problem like this is that they try to now cancel this y with this y, but that can't be done. And the reason why is because those y's are not factors. Remember, factors are things that are being multiplied, not added or subtracted. This y is clearly being added, and this y is clearly being added, and for that reason, these y's cannot be canceled. That makes this our final answer.